I'm Shannon Bravano. Um, I'm teaching science at Smokey and I'm doing this project about cell division and I wanted them to do a stop motion video for it because it really kind of brings the cell cycle to life and the way I set this unit up was rather than me lecturing they kind of do some research to start off with and then um, based on that they, they look at real cells dividing and then I'm having them create the stages of the cell cycle out of Play-Doh and then they're making a stop motion video out of it. And I came up with this idea last year and I just thought like this is perfect to teach mitosis, like the perfect way to teach mitosis. And so that's why I did that this year and it's been pretty awesome. This is the nuclear membrane. This is all the DNA. This is the cell membrane. And then we're taking pictures of it to upload it to a uh, short video. That's like, you take a lot of pictures and then it makes one video. Well, our project um, was stop motion with clay. And um, basically our task was to create a um, claymation for cell division. And so for our project, what we did is um, we had our uh, clay and we made it like really um, like the labels and stuff would go into it but the problem we had was the light the lighting would make it so we couldn't see the text very well so what we've done here is we've added music in the background and then now what we're doing is we're adding labels into it My favorite part about the uh, claymation project was basically just building with the clay. It was like a lot of fun to both learn and be able to like build stuff with your hands. And rather than reading from a textbook, you know, it's just kind of more of a fun, more interactive way to kind of take in what you're learning. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, yeah, I definitely remember this assignment just because it's just a lot of fun to go create a video. Yeah. It's not reading out of a book, it's like actually like folding the cell and like creating something and then it helps you like learn the steps a lot better and like how to like, be more engaged. Like memorizing something because it's hands on and you don't have to just sit there and hear it. You can actually do it yourself. Oh, it's just easier to learn visually. Creating things is just fun because we write a lot. It's just it's just giving us a better opportunity on how to be actually behind the scenes with it, and I just think it's it's like showing a visual is way better than just reading. To me. Well, normally we would read, study in textbooks and to just take notes and then leave it at that. Like, we wouldn't do anything interesting or actually drill it in our brain. It would just be like through, going through one ear out the other. My favorite part of the project is uh, being able to be hands-on with the cells and knowing how they work and how they look. Me, personally, I don't like reading as much. I'd like to be more hands-on. That's the way I mean. I respect Ms. Bravano. She's a fun teacher and she actually takes interest in talking to us.